Hello, welcome back to the fourth tutorial on X circuit. And in the end of tutorial number three, you saw how X circuit crashes, and that's why I recommend people to always keep saving their work. And I will show you how to recover the work that you have saved. And uh, uh, to do that, you will just you know start X circuit software from here and maximize it. Go to File and click on this Read X circuit. So to save you will click on this right text circuit and to read back that saved file you will go to read x circuit file and you will you know descend down to your folder where you have saved your circuit diagram and click open and here you go you have this saved work okay so it's very important to keep saving your nice uh, and you know long circuit diagram in case you know the x circuit crashes and sometimes it does it's a free program so now suppose I want to type in name of various resistors, so I can go ahead and type in um, to type text, I can press T on from on my keyboard and type in R and text style, it, uh, sorry, subscript and type in G. So this is RG and put this one here, right? And then um, type in T, R and text style subscript one and put this R1 here and C I'm so, oh, escape it got copied you know the prime symbol and C for copying this put this here all right and escape type in uh, T R text style subscript let's say B, R, B, so I'm calling this R, B, all right, and C, type in here, sorry, copy that here, and escape, and press E to edit, and use your keyboard arrow keys to go here and type in A, and left arrow key to delete B, back a space, and click somewhere here. So that way you have R, B, and R, A, and C, Put this one here escape C put this one here so here you go here is your nice um, uh, the circuit uh, diagram for uh, three op amp instrumentation amplified and if you want to type in VO the output voltage you can also do that T for typing in text V and text style subscript type in O and click anywhere here let me go ahead and save it because you know I'm scared a bit. Apply override and C. Put it this one here. Put this one here. Escape E for editing. So I will type in E and use arrow key to go here a couple of times and type in say I1 and use arrow to come here and delete it and left you know left click somewhere else in this area and edit all right and type in i2 input 2 and use arrow key to go here and back a space to delete that one okay so that way i have vi1 vi2 to input and output file apply apply let's see how it how does it look let me go here oh where was x circuit diagrams don't don't close it then the x circuit figures were here all right so double click on this one see how it looks nice all right sometimes you'll see that you know although you have put this uh, you know far apart from here but it looks you know kind of you know touch you know touching here so what you can do is you can as i told you in tutorial number two you can use uh, shift plus to zoom Mm, uh, sorry to uh, increase the grid size and minus button on your keyboard to reduce the grid size and that way you can make small changes okay so you can reduce the grid size and move this a bit move this one a bit lower okay move this one here perhaps and uh, looks nice everything looks nice here so go ahead file uh, right apply apply overwrite well, let's see how it looks now give it some time oh it looks nice yeah so it, it got updated and you have it here and then of course you can uh, copy this 
by using a snipping tool and you can copy this so uh, so all that you have to do is to use a snip tool and carefully you know copy it or snip it edit file sorry edit copy and open a word file here and just copy it there sorry paste it there um, Control V, here you go. Nice looking instrument, 3 open classical instrumentation amplifier. Looks very nice, I love it. Now, uh, one more thing. So, as you might have noticed, that the X circuit files have our post script file, they are not PDF file. And to op not every program can open that file. So, what, how, what program do I use? So, I use events. So, I will go here and type in events. Uh, document viewer for Windows and here you go and it is available I think on FOSS Hub you can download it from here this program okay so even uh, click on this one and it will be any other like you can install it like any other Windows program and once you have done it you can open events from here or you can just double click on that uh, so it would double click on that uh, what you call it uh, this file itself and it will open it uh, in events automatically otherwise you can always go here document viewer file open and you can browse down to your uh, descend down to your folder and next circuit uh, here and you know double click and then here you go so this this basically this tutorial completes uh, uh, the tutorial series on X circuit and in case if you have any question comments you can always uh, Post your comments on my YouTube channel. This is this is where that this these videos are uh, located. So thank you very much for watching this uh, series on um, drawing circuit using X circuit program. Have a good day. Bye bye.